Hey guys, if you're like me, sometimes you struggle with gift giving. And if you have anybody like me in your family or friends group, then maybe you're wondering what the heck do I get them? So I compiled a list of things. They're all on Amazon, so you can get them relatively rapidly. I know we're getting toward the middle of December already, but if you're struggling, I got you. If you're on a budget, I got you. A lot of these items are going to be uh, on the inexpensive side, although I do have a handful of more expensive ones. So if you're feeling especially generous, then I've got those options as well. In addition, I do have some more expensive ones, some nicer ones where you can treat somebody or you can treat yourself. So without further ado, let me jump in uh, and show you what I've got. First, for those of you guys who have somebody that needs charging for a bunch of wireless devices, Apple makes um, the magnetic base and uh, there are several out there. But if you don't want to spend Apple kind of money, you can get a pretty decent one for like 25 bucks on Amazon. Uh, links to all these will be in my description. Every single one of these uh, is an affiliate link. You can choose to use them or not. Obviously, if you do, I appreciate you. But it's not a requirement, obviously. Like, please shop how you want. But anytime you use an affiliate link that I post, it helps me out a little bit. Wireless charging, especially if you know somebody that has all kinds of cables and everything all over their nightstand, this kind of consolidates it. There are other options, but this is a good one. Moving on. If you've got somebody who cooks at all, this is my favorite chef's knife. I should mention, by the way, most of these things that I'm showing you, I actually own and use, and this is one of them. Uh, my Victorinox chef's knife is at this point years old. I've sharpened it multiple times. It's dishwasher safe if you want to do that, although I don't recommend putting really nice knives into the dishwasher, but I like the chef's knives that Victorinox makes. They are stamped steel. They sharpen easily. They hold up well. The handles do not get any sort of micro nastiness in them. So it's an option for you if you're interested. Speaking of knives, there's a bunch that I've got floating around here. If you have somebody who wants a knife, but they don't want something huge and tactical, or you're getting something from somebody who's younger, the Victorinox uh, Tinker is probably one of the best first knives. And even if it's not a first knife, it's an excellent knife and it's a relatively low cost gift. I like those a lot and it's a, a nice touch. If you want to do something a little bit nicer, Civivi makes really nice knives. Their bang for the buck factor cannot be overstated. Like it's unreal how much knife you get from Civivi for the amount of money that you spend on their knives. I've got one actually in my pocket right now, uh, link to that coming up. But if you want a smaller one, the mini Praxis is nice. They have, uh, let's see, all sorts of different colors. So if you don't want the green, you can get just a plain blade. You can get black handles, all sorts of options. I like the Civivi knives. And speaking of Civivi knives, I think I've got the other one, the Cogent. It's in my pocket right now. I really like this knife. It is not a horribly expensive knife. It's a lot of knife for the size. Um, I think I actually did a review video of it. That's how much I like it. So not all the knives here, but that's a handful of them. Moving on, flashlights. Everybody loves flashlights. I just did a review video on this. It's going to premiere in the next few days. If you're looking for a small task light, something that's good for walking the dogs, working in your shop, um, it is small. It'll fit in your pocket. And it is uh, waterproof, multiple modes. You can strap it or clip it or magnet it to a lot of different things. And it's cheap, guys, like 24 bucks right now. Uh, you could get a whole pile of these and use them as stocking stuffers. If you want something a little nicer, but not too nice, the Thrunite TN12. I reviewed this, not, this light. I like it quite a bit. And uh, several of my friends have picked them up as well. If you don't want to spend hundred plus dollars on a flashlight, because you certainly can, for those of you who know, this is a really good option, right around 50 bucks, puts out a lot of light, small package for what it is. It can be used tactically, like this would be fine, hanging off of your armor or your belt. If you want to use it for more practical purposes, I think it fits the bill very nicely. As we're moving on, back to knives. I've got an expensive sharpener and I've got a cheaper sharpener for you. I really like the Work Sharp Professional Precision Adjust Sharpener. It takes a lot of 
the skill aspect out of sharpening knives and really kind of does a lot of it for you in terms of maintaining the angle, telling you what to do. If you want to go high end, this is probably one of the nicer high end sharpeners out there. There are certainly ones that cost double this and double that again, but right around the price point of $250, I think is really excellent. If you are looking for a really turnkey, like it'll do anything you need it to do, sharpen almost every knife out there, this is your jam. If you don't want to spend that much money and you just want something that touches things up, the portable pocket sharpener that WorkSharp puts out, once again, an excellent stocking stuff for 15 bucks. Anybody you know who has knives, this is a really good little tool. It'll allow you to touch up knives in the field or in your shop in a pinch. Moving even further forward, the Rescue Me Rescue Tool Window Breaker and Seatbelt Cutter. I have one of these hanging on my keychain right now. One is sitting in the center console of my wife's car. They are eight bucks. You can get a three pack for, I want to say, uh, I forget, but it's. I'll link to both in the description. Guys, you probably never need this. You know, I hope to God you never do. But if you do, this is cheap insurance to have in your vehicle or with your person. If you have a friend or you are super technical, you like taking things apart, you're always tinkering on things, the iFu Mini Electric Screwdriver, I like it a lot. It really, if you're working on electronics, this is excellent. It's got all the stuff that you need to disassemble phones and tablets, by the way, if you want to go down that road. Not obviously, you don't have to, but the electric screwdriver is really cool. I did a review on this, but I still haven't even posted it because I've been too busy and I've got a lot of other videos stacked up but I like this a lot. Uh, you get a ton of bits and tools for that $50. Back to knives. If you want something a little bit cooler and neat, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars, I really like the proponent, the um, sub-size one. It is nice and sharp, good Warncliffe blade. It's D2, and I have mixed feelings about D2, but the straight edge is really easy to sharpen. And uh, this is a striking looking knife, but it's not so big that it gets stupid. They make bigger ones if you really want a impressive piece, but I like this one a lot. It sits on my nightstand and I carry it somewhat regularly. If you want to get somebody a cool tactical pen, the Atomic Bear tactical pen, the Stealth Pen Pro, it is uh, good to go for travel. I have used it in that regard. Uh, I have reviewed it and I like it quite a bit. 40 bucks. It beats some of the higher end pens. If you're trying to get somebody a pen set that's got all kinds of Gucci stuff, those can be expensive. This kind of comes down a little bit, but it also comes with a nice case. So it makes a good gift. If you're somebody like me who gets beat up and you get hurt and uh, your back's banged up or your legs are banged up after working out, the original Theragun is really expensive and it does not travel well, but they make a mini that travels very nicely, comes in a nice little zippered case. I throw it in my backpack when I am flying places. It doesn't bother anybody in TSA. And I'm telling you, there is nothing better than massaging your back with this after you've been sitting in a plane, working out, anything like that. Amazon does have much cheaper knockoffs and some of those work really well, no lie. But this one, in terms of its size and cost, I like it quite a bit. And I know I get it 100 to 150 bucks for a Theragun is not cheap. Like I said, there are more inexpensive ones. Back to knives. I really like the little Devalin for $67, $68. It is a neat knife. It's small, but it packs a wallop. And if you want to get somebody something that's a little more striking in the knife category, I really like this one. To this day, I really like this one. If you want to get somebody a utility knife, and once again, this is perfect for stocking stuffers. The Work Pro EDC has removable blades. They're replaceable. It's cheap. It is nice in your pocket. It's super light. It's a button lock, so it won't come open or come closed without you actuating that button. Inexpensive, super perfect stocking stuffer. Good for throwing in a drawer. Good for handing out to friends. If you're somebody like me who can misplace things, or if you're somebody like me who does not trust anybody when it comes to handling your luggage, air tags. I cannot stress enough how awesome air tags are. I have placed them in all my luggage now, saved my bacon when I traveled to Italy earlier this year. Um, I didn't use air tags. I use tiles because I'm an Android kid, but if you're an Apple kid, then air tags are your jam. 
If you're an Android kid, did I mention tiles? They sort of fulfill the same function. Tiles are really what saved me. I very much like tiles. I got to the point where not only do I have them in my luggage now, I have them on the dogs, I have them in my car, I have them on my wallet. I don't leave home anywhere without some sort of tracker. Tiles for me, air tags for you, it's all good. If you want to have a good belt to hold up a gun or you're giving one to somebody else, the Ares Gear Aegis, they're indestructible. I have one that is probably 15 years old at this point. The only reason I bought a newer one is because I shrunk. So it is what it is. But I still, every day I go to work, I use this belt. It's not a dress belt. It's more of a tactical belt. But if you know somebody who goes to the range a lot and they want a good belt, and look no further. This is an awesome belt. I like it a lot. Workout buds. I know every single one of you guys knows somebody that works out. They make really high-end ones. Like you could buy some beats for like close to $200. But I found that the sound core by Anchor, the sound is excellent for the price. And these stay put. That little hook over the ear is awesome. I was working out with mine earlier today. Since getting these, these are my favorite workout buds. The battery life is good. The case is not too heavy. They are reasonably water and dust resistant. So they are excellent workout earbuds for the price. And right now the price is not bad, guys. I paid more for mine than they are currently running. Now, if you want to go high end, you know, somebody who's got the same kind of barber that I've got, I've been shaving my head with a Bronze Series 9 Pro for about two months now. It is just as close as any other shaver that I've used and way more gentle. I used to have a rotary that I used to shave my head. And man, that thing worked good once we got up here. But as soon as I hit my neck or even close to my face, it really chewed me up. That thing eventually died. I replaced it with this. And I know the the money is serious, like serious money. Guys, this thing works on my head, my face, my neck. It's never once bit me at all. It is super gentle. And it works really, really well. Amazingly close shave. The included cleaner. So you just put it in the thing, hit the button, and it self-cleans. That is awesome. It saves you from having to do a bunch of maintenance. So it charges, cleans itself. And if you get the one that I'm going to link to, it even comes with a travel case that has a charger in it. So if you are somebody who travels a lot lot, or you know somebody who does travel a lot, that case will keep you to where you don't have to bring a cord. And it's a nice case, so it will protect the razor. I really like that combo. Lastly, I am wearing one of these right now, the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Tactical. It is an amazing outdoor watch. It's an amazing fitness watch. It's an amazing tactical watch. It is durable, waterproof, heat-proof, cold-proof, or resistant, Um, super durable. It has been my constant companion since I put it on. I usually get between two to four weeks of battery life, depending on what I'm doing, It's an awesome watch. So if you know somebody who would like a watch like this or you would like a watch like this, right now they're over $100 cheaper than what mine was when I got it. The the deals on Garmin stuff on Amazon right now is ridiculous. Guys, this is just a quick run through. I'm not going to go any longer. I know this is going to be a rapid fire video, but I'm going to leave you right here. I'm not going to go any further. Thank you so much for watching. I know the video quality on this is kind of sucky too because I'm using the webcam and the webcam on this laptop is not 4K. Apologies for that. But I wanted to get a real quick gift giving guide to give you some ideas or hopefully help you out. And like I said, all these are Amazon links. So even if you're ordering last minute, you should be able to get this stuff pretty fast. So if you're hurting for something and if it's like, you know, even a few days before Christmas at this point, Guys, you can get on it. Hit the links in the description. Like I said, they're affiliate links. I appreciate you guys if you want to use any of those. You know my normal content, or if you don't, this is your first time seeing me. My normal content is usually guns, knives, gadgets to include flashlights. Occasionally, I talk about booze. And I've gotten on a fitness kick, so I'm sorry, but I do indeed talk about fitness just a bit. I will end this here. If you enjoy that sort of content, all the YouTube things about like, subscribe, notification, I would certainly appreciate it. I'll stop here. Guys, take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.